Hello, welcome back to my channel, Charlie's Lessons, and in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about Canva presentations and why you should start using it in your class. As always, before we get started, I'd like to say a big thank you to my current members. You can see their names on the screen right now. And thank you so much for joining and helping me produce more videos like this one. Canva is a great tool for teachers. It's got templates to make things like lesson plans and worksheets. And I even made a video on its own whiteboard, which is just right here. But today we're talking about Canva presentations. So let's get started. So once you've made an account on Canva, you can do this using your email address or your Google account. At the home page, you'll be presented with a lot of options on what to do next. So things like making a document, a whiteboard, and here we have presentations. We've got at the moment these five different options, which is just to make a standard presentation. We can even make one that's suitable for phones. You can make one that just slightly changes the aspect ratio. And even we've got these two templates, which is about a brainstorm presentation and a game presentation. So a game presentation is gonna be a template where there's gonna be lots of different kinds of questions like multiple choice or single answer questions, depending on what kind of presentation you wanna do in class. In this video, we're gonna be working with standard presentations. So this one right here. So just go to create a blank one. And once it's loaded, if we go to the left-hand side, you can see all the possible designs that we could use or take for our own presentation. Looking at all the results here, you could even search for a type of presentation. So I'm gonna go for something general like education. And you can see here, it's changed the templates completely to fit that keyword. Now I'm using a free account. There are obviously pro versions of Canva. And you can see here at each design, there is a little crown, which means it's pro, which means if you're gonna use that, you're gonna to have to pay for it. Once we choose a design that we like the look of, we can then decide to either add one, two, or all pages of that presentation. For this video, I'm just gonna apply all 12 pages. And you can see here that along the bottom, we've got all the slides just been added to our presentation. As I said earlier, this is just a template and we can change this to fit our students' needs. So we can either delete whole slides by just finding one and just clicking here and going to delete page or we can go into a page and we can start editing the text. So you can start writing here, whatever I want. Apart from the text, we also have these elements. If we want to add new elements to the slide, we just go to left-hand side and go to element. We can search for any kind of icon, graphic, lines, arrows, anything you want and add those to our presentation. Let's imagine you've started designing your presentation in Canva, but then you see on the left-hand side, another design that you really like, and you'd like to kind of steal some slides and copy them over to your original presentation. So for example, here is another presentation I think I quite like, and but I don't like all the pages, I just wanna take some. So to do this, I'm just gonna to go to the bottom right-hand corner and go to grid view. You now I can see all the slides that are in this presentation. And let's say, I want to steal this one, this one too. So what I'm doing is I'm going control click and now I've got selected two slides. All I'm going to do is go to control C. Let's go back to my original presentation. Again, click on the bottom right hand corner on grid view, press control V. And you can see here that the two slides have now appeared in my original presentation. One of the things that I like to do when I'm making a presentation in Canva is to add audio or music. So to find this, we just go to the left-hand side and go to audio. And then here we're gonna have a selection of songs. Now some are paid and some are free. Here's a free song that I'm gonna add to my presentation. So I just click this and drag and drop it right here. And you can see here that the presentation is now considered to be one minute long. And so the song's gonna fit that, although the song is actually two minutes long. So what will happen now is if I go to present this, we should be able to hear the song playing alongside the presentation. Exactly. So that song will continue for the whole presentation. You can even add different music during the presentation to change the rhythm or the mood of your presentation. A great way to increase student engagement is to add video to your presentation. So to do this, we're going to go to apps and we're going to add videos via YouTube. So we're going to go to the YouTube app right here. And then just within Canva, we can start searching for videos. And so I'm just going to pull this and drop it in here like this. And now if I go to present this particular slide, so with the slide being presented, I'm just gonna click on play. HSA. This is the first video of the- I can then use this to start opening up discussions in class about how to write essays. While adding videos from YouTube is a great idea, 
To give it a more personal touch, you could appear in the presentation yourself. To do this, we're just gonna go to the left-hand side and go to videos. And it's gonna have this option at the very top that says record yourself. Once we are in the studio, we can choose which kind of webcam we wanna use, whether we wanna choose a different microphone, or we could just turn off the camera, just clicking on here, which means you're just gonna be recording the audio from your voice. It's gonna record a slightly short video and I'm gonna add it to the slide. So now started recording, you can see me there. When it's ready, I'm gonna click on done. And this short video is now gonna be applied to this slide only. So there is my video appearing in the bottom left-hand corner. If I go to duration at the bottom, I can see now that this slide lasts not five seconds like the others, but now 9.1 seconds. If I wanted to just simply add my voice, I could do the same thing, go to the recording studio and just turn off my camera and just start speaking. What I just showed you was how to add video and audio, especially video to individual slides. If you'd like to present the whole presentation and record yourself, then we can do that too. So to do that, we're just gonna go to present in the top right hand corner and choose present and record. So again, we've got the same options. We can choose what kind of camera we wanna use, what kind of mic we wanna use. If you would not like to appear in the video, then you're just gonna click on no camera and then you're gonna disappear. You can see that I'm now to the left-hand side of the presentation. It's recording everything I'm saying and I can move through the slides, continue speaking and give more insights into each slide like this. If you find this whole process a bit daunting, you could always add notes to your design. Once the recording is ready, we've got a link we can share directly with other people that are in the audience. We can do this and they don't have to sign in and make an account on Canva. Or we could even download it right here and send this either through an LMS or by email. Now here's a little tip for you. If you have saved and exited from your presentation after presenting and recording, and you'd like to go find your recording, then you're gonna to need to go back to the original presentation and go to present and present and record again. And you'll see here that it's just appearing right now and right in front of me, the link again and the option to download it. Now, if we'd like to remove this and start a new presentation and recording, then we're just gonna to go to delete recording. Another great feature when using Canva presentations live in class is to use your mobile phone as a kind of remote control. When we're back on our presentation, we're gonna to go to present and we're gonna to go to present full screen. I'm gonna to go to the more button right here and go to share remote control. So here we have this QR code on the screen. I'm gonna take my phone I'm going to scan this and go to the link. I've got my phone connected. I can just press left, right, right, and I can move through the slides really easily. And I don't have to keep tapping the arrow keys or moving back towards the computer. I can do everything from my phone. While we're presenting using our phone, let me show you something else that's really cool. So at the very top, you can see here, we've got something called magic shortcuts. And these shortcuts can be also accessed on the keyboard, but also on your phone. Seven different shortcuts to do something fun on the presentation screen. So for example, confetti. Confetti is just appearing all over the screen. So imagine that you would like to share some news with your students, then this is a great way to celebrate that. We've also got drum roll. And again, if you're gonna give some exciting news, you could use this. You've got the veil and unveil. So we can pull the curtains across and press it again. Then we can maybe share something exciting for your students. We've then got mic drop. So if you've made a really good point in class as the teacher or as a student, bubbles, not really too sure how I'd use this. If you've got students that don't shut up, you could use the quiet button and we've got the blur as well. So for example, if you'd like to hide something, you can use this too. Now there is another shortcut that is not available on your phone, which is to add a timer. To do this, we're gonna use the keyboard and every number we press is gonna produce a timer for that number. So for example, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. This can be really useful for helping you as the teacher control 
how long you're speaking for. A key point to cover right now is how you share your presentation with other teachers, with your students, once you've finished. To do this, it's really simple with Canva. We just go to the share button in the top right hand corner and it's gonna give us lots of different options. So go to download. Now, if you've been using audio or video in your presentations, then the best option for you is to download it as an MP4 video. If you are a Microsoft PowerPoint person and why would you be that person? But anyway, we're gonna to go to share and go to download. And we're gonna go scroll down to here, Microsoft PowerPoint document. And now this you can upload to your PowerPoint program and it's gonna be in exactly the right format so you can start using it in PowerPoint, you boring person. If you're a Google person like me, then I'm sorry. If you use Google Slides, there's not much compatibility available between Canva and Google Slides. If we do wanna send it to our Google Drive, we will just go to share and then more and then go down to Google Drive and it's then gonna ask us to connect our accounts, which I already did, and it's gonna ask us to choose a folder that we'd like to use. Now, once you've done this, I would suggest saving it as either PDF, a PNG, don't save it as a PPTX, which is PowerPoint, because when you open it in Google Slides, all the text is gonna be all over the place, all the elements out of place, it's gonna be a nightmare. So using PDF or PNG is gonna save the presentation exactly as it's seen in Canva. If you are a fan of using Google Slides and you'd like to find some templates that are maybe not available in Canva, then I would recommend watching this video right here, which is about Slides Go, a website that has loads of templates for Google Slides. If you would like your notes to appear in whatever format of the Canva presentation you download, then we're gonna to go to share and we're gonna to go to download. And just where it says include notes, we're gonna make sure this is ticked. So now that when you download the PDF, the JPEG, whatever format you choose, it's gonna include those very important notes. Thank you for watching this video on Canva's presentations. I hope you give it a go. And if you do use presentations in your class, and I think this is a great option. I'll see you in the next video.